In 2012, Eastman Kodak filed bankruptcy after being in business for almost 125 years. The company was formed in 1889 by George Eastman, about 25 years after the end of the Civil War. In 1888, he invented his first uh, camera. His technology was so advanced that uh, people like Thomas Edison used them in motion picture films. In 1976, the company was so advanced in its sales and technology that it became the Google of its time, owning about 90% of its market share in the photographic film sales. Interestingly, in 1975, the company invented the first digital camera. They decided not to use that technology because they did not want it to erode into its photographic film cells. Eventually, competition started using the digital technology. The photographic film cells started going down and declining, and the company stopped earning a profit in 2007 and had to file bankruptcy. When Eastman Kodak filed bankruptcy, they had two options, Chapter 7 and Chapter 11. A Chapter 7 bankruptcy filing would have caused them to close the doors, to sell off their assets and quit doing business. A Chapter 11 reorganization allows them to continue doing business. They will make sales to customers and they will continue to pay their creditors and, and keep doing business. Now they have some challenges. The U.S. trustee did a study to, and they found out that only 29% of businesses that do a Chapter 11 reorganization actually survive. Now, what are so there's some of their challenges? They're going to have increased competition. Companies are going to come in and try to take away their customers. Their key employees will most likely leave. Uh, they will have to pay their secured creditors, and they're going to have billions of dollars in legal and accounting costs. Those are going to be some of the challenges that they're going to face, among other things. I have a lot of experience in Chapter 11 reorganization and I would really like to see Kodak survive. They've been a national legacy for about 125 years. I want to give some advice. My advice is to not get distracted. Let the attorneys and accountants and others handle all the paperwork and the busy work of the Chapter 11 organization. My advice is to focus on the consumer. Back in 1888, your founder, George Eastman, was an inventor. He created things. He wanted to find out what customers wanted, and that's what your challenge is. Do the research and development, find out what the consumer wants, and go forward uh, being the company that you are with a great legacy and a good name, and I think you'll have a good chance of surviving. Thank you. Mm -hmm.